Well, we had 60 degrees one weekend. Now we're back yep. down into the teens. Into the freezer today. <laughs> what can we expect coming up, man? I'm, I, I can't decide. Yeah, my, my kind of words for the day are frigid this morning. Again, some flakes by the afternoon. A beautiful sky behind us in the sky cam. You can see behind us right here. Uh, and we'll show that in another second. But temperature-wise, starting off. And the teens in single digits by 8 o'clock, teens across the board, cloudy landscape, and notice a little bit of blue showing up towards your left ear screen. And right around lunchtime, a little batch of light snow will be entering the area. One thing that is for certain, look at these temperatures well below freezing, so that means whatever does fall can stick. We're not expecting a lot, but enough to cause a couple slick spots, especially in the hill towns, where maybe one to potentially two inches could accumulate nor near North Adams and Pittsfield up maybe towards the uh, Greenfield area, down in the valley, maybe a coating in a couple towns. Not a big deal, but it will be on the chilly side, regardless, dropping off to the cool uh, nights tonight as well. Now, behind me was a decent view. Looks like more clouds are filtering in. 14, the good news with the calm wind, the wind chill also at 14, so it is chilly. It is cloudy, but at least the wind's not out there to make it feel even colder than it currently is across the board. I mentioned 14 here, 11 in Worcester, 2. Yeah, 2, the deuce number. They are in Keene. 22 in New Haven, 20 in New London, 14 in Boston. So across the Northeast, it feels like February. And it's going to look like February in a couple of hours as this little slug of moisture comes in this way. I want to back out of the way so you can see where it's coming. You can see from Chicago to Buffalo to Cleveland, pushing all the way down towards our area. This little heavier batch may swing through around maybe 1 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon up in our general direction. That could put down, again, a quick coating to maybe an inch, a little bit more in the hill town. It's not a big deal, but it could become slick. So if you are a plow driver, Keep that in mind. So the future cast with temps as well, around 1 o'clock, the light snow breaks out. Could be a little burst of more steady snow. Again, from 19 in Worcester, 24 in New Haven, 25 in Hartford, 15 Pittsfield, 18 Boston. Whatever falls across northeast will be all snow. Again, not a big deal, but it could cause a couple slick spots out there, especially in the hill town. So if you're a plow driver, get that sand and salt ready. The plow probably not needed for most, but the salt may be needed to treat the ground because surface temperatures will be very chilly after a cold start and a cold day today. Whatever falls will become icy at times, especially later this evening if the tires of the cars kind of melt the snow as you drive then refreezes it could be icy in a couple towns overnight dry things out overnight turning very chilly sunday starts off chilly and dry with cloudy conditions in the low 40s by the afternoon so above average or right around average we should be closer to 40 uh, by this time of year for sunday afternoon could be a rain or snow shower and that's with another colder push of air so how much snow not much. Coating to maybe an inch in the valley. I think that's even overdone. One to two in the hill towns, Greenfield, North Adams, Great Barrington. You know the drill. Now the bigger weather drama comes in Monday night to Tuesday. Could be our first real, more significant storm we've seen in 2023. And that's with this, uh, yeah, big push of moisture. We have two storms. The potential is there for one to transfer the energy to this storm, become a bigger storm. And notice that dark blue coming in uh, early morning on Tuesday. So, yes, the chance is there for several inches uh, to accumulate a plowable snow up the track it all week long. How much? Just a very early look. Just, yeah, double-digit snowfall potentially in some areas after the storm comes in. More cold air. Very chilly today. Mid-20s at light snow shower could dust up the ground. 40 tomorrow with a afternoon snow shower. The 10-day forecast looks like this. That weather drama comes in. I mentioned Monday to Tuesday. We've got to watch it closely. Could be a lot of snow depending on the track of that storm. Uh, early look of 5 to 10 inches. That's a very early look. Don't quote me on that number, but it could be a decent storm. Then another storm maybe mid to late week. So a very active wintry pattern as we enter meteorological.